hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm going to show you guys how i achieved these bohemian zoe kravitz kind of braids situation um i'm not too sure how i feel about them um they're very they're very full very different but basically let me just tell you the specs of it um i used and i'm obviously i'm gonna show you guys once um this tutorial starts but i used about six packs of expressions um in color six um i use crochet braids and um, what i would definitely say is that um it's definitely worth using real human hair like real curly human hair to do this style if you want it to last for long because what i've realized is that um even when i've slept it goes kind of matty obviously because it's synthetic it's not natural so there's already some matty bits but um i've heard that you have to like spray water and put conditioner in a bottle just so the curls can be retained see like for example this one like this is just not really that curly no more like it's like it just gave up on life but what's good about it is that with curly hair you can just cut it like so can you see where the bit is curly cut it and you can just kind of curly hair never stays blunt so yeah you can just kind of do it like that and it's all it's gucci it's like and it's not that long it comes up oh oh wow it comes up to like my back like the just before my bum i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you like comment and subscribe if there's a specific hairstyle you want me to do let me know and yeah i will see you guys hey guys so um this is my hair um i was a bit confused because i didn't realize i had a little bold patch at the front but <laughs> what you're gonna need is a white tooth comb another white tooth comb um a crochet tool thing but you're gonna need that later scissors um and duck bills i was a bit confused because there wasn't as much as i thought and you're gonna need moisturizer um, and in this video i use six packs of expressions and color six i am silly and i also used urban which is a crochet which is crochet hair in color four so it's called dare um you're also gonna need snacks guys because this took ages and some water i started at seven in the evening and you're gonna see what time I finished. Absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, you're gonna comb your hair out. Um, mine has just been stretched. I used the wide tooth comb just to literally comb it out so there's no knots and stuff, guys. I'm actually so silly. I was actually excited because my hair had grown. So you're gonna need um, the expressions. What I do is um, when I start from the back, I literally just go with one swipe with um, my wide tooth comb um, and I make sure that that one swipe is more or less going to be pretty clean in terms of the parting and I just kind of section my hair out with the duck bills and just clip them out of the way so I can focus on the first one. Um, so you're going to get the expression and split it into two and you're literally going to cross it over and make like a loop. Um, as you can see it's kind of like a like a chain it looks like a loop chain thing and it's quite hard to explain um, and uh, this is me just opening the crochet it's very silky very smooth so cute <laughs> um, and I think I was just checking it out just to see how it looked I think um, if I was to redo this I would have definitely used a looser curl I wouldn't have used such a wavy curl so you're gonna go in with the expressions and basically you're gonna where the knot is you have to put it on top of where your hair is and then you have to place your hair with one of the strands and braid it down it's so hard to explain but I'm gonna show you guys what I mean so um, I'm gonna keep on braiding and as you can see you want to try and keep it as neat as possible but guys trust me this is trial and error this isn't supposed to be perfect this is just me showing you guys how i did this hair it's not perfect you can choose to follow it if you like but yeah so 
you want to make sure that it's tight especially at the back So this is where the exciting bit starts you want to cut your crochet hair and you have to attach it to the braid and how you do that is you anchor it the small section you have to anchor it and then braid it in it sounds i don't know how to explain it guys but i'm definitely going to show you guys again and you want to clip the curly bit out of the way so you can focus on the rest of the braid and as you do this you want to keep adding as many as you want um as many curly crochet bits you want to the braid um and yeah you just just do it as much as you like um i added about two to three on each braid just to give it that full look some i just did one um but you want to make sure you add it towards the end as well so it has like a curly feel towards the end So once you've reached the end, you want to just clip um, the curly bit away um, and literally braid till the end until it's straight. Don't leave it loose like I did. Just make sure you braid it until it's tight. So to demonstrate again, um, I'm going to show you guys on the side. So I'm going to part literally the side of my hair like this and you get the braid and you place the middle so you attach the middle section with your hair and you have to cross it over as though you are braiding and make sure you grab all of your hair as you braid and braid as normally this is like as detailed as i can get it <laughs> but i tend to learn by watching so this might really help just watch and maybe you can gain more insight rather than me talking <laughs> Then you're going to add the curly crochet and attach it to the far end of the braid of one of the strands of the braid and then what i did was because my hair is quite puffy and it doesn't really blend with the um, extensions you want to make sure you cover your hair with the extensions and then you just swipe <laughs> you go over it and braid it down so you want to braid 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 and like before you have to section the curly bit off and grab it and clip it away so it doesn't get involved with the rest of the braiding because that's what you want the curls to shine you know you don't want them to be matted all over sometimes it can be complicated finding the braid but um it should be okay because it's two different textures Once more, you literally just attach it to the end um, of one of the sections of the braid and just braid it down.
so um as you can see guys i finished at three in the morning i was absolutely knackered i was tired and i was going to bed but i woke up and ready i was ready to complete this um so what i did was i just combed the rest of my hair i was very um matty at this point because obviously i slept on it um but it was good to go Um, so as you can see I've completed it um, and what I did was I got the ends of each of the braids and I got like a medium sized roller um, these are the plastic ones you can get it from your local beauty supply store or the hair shop like we Londoners call it the hair shop I don't know what a beauty supply store is but same difference in it so you want to get the end and you want to roll the end um, as far as you want the braid to be curly you want to roll it and then get the elastic cover make sure you place the um, curly hair aside so it doesn't get in the way because you're going to put this in hot water and you kind of just want to put it together like so dip it in hot water um, make sure you leave it in for about 60 seconds like 30 to 60 seconds this isn't how I wanted it to come out because I took it out too early so make sure you leave it in as long as you want and it should come out like curly like this what I did to make it look more natural was I undid the ends um, so it would be super curly some came out better than others but I didn't want it to be perfect because it's supposed to be bohemian quite messy quite rough and yeah but um if i was to do this hairstyle again i definitely wouldn't have used such tight curls i would have used looser curls because i feel like it's more bohemian so as you can see i have finished guys look how happy i look yay wow joy um i just placed some moisturizer on my scalp and all over the hair just so the curls are bouncy and they're shiny and they're full i used the cantu grow grow strong grow i don't even know what it's called wow and I just kind of just put it all over. And to kind of decorate my hair, I used these golden clasp beaded hair things. Um, I don't actually know what they're called. But yeah, I just put it all over my hair. And um, to add some more curls to the braids, I just crocheted um, the braided hair um, into the braids, as you can see. And I just tied a knot at the end. Um, this crochet hair, I use two packs in case you guys are wondering, but I'll leave all the information in the description box in case you guys wanted to know more. And I went ahead and just cut it so it kind of framed my face a bit better because I didn't like how, how long it was. And I got curling mousse and put it all over my hair. I don't know why I put it bang in the middle. Like, I don't know what that is going to do to my hair. Um, I made sure that the braids weren't too tight. So I could sleep at night. Mm. And I went ahead and just cut more and added more of the golden clasp beaded things. I'm going to show you guys how I bead the hair. Just to add more um, character to the hair later on. So I got these beads from my local beauty supply store, the hair shop. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to show you guys how I quickly do it. So you're going to need a bead threader. Um, and you just push all the beads that you want inside. I think I used about, I put in about five. Um, five beads. And remember guys, you can reuse these. Just keep them. You can reuse them for like other hairstyles. That's what I aim to do anyway. so you're gonna put your hair through the hole and make sure it's like secured like you secure it make sure you secure it by holding it um as you can see it's it's dangling um and you just want to pull all the beads to the other side of the hair making sure um the side that you held is comes through like this so you just want to pull your hair through and voila it's like magic and then you just want to put one more so once you've beaded all your beads big ones small ones want to put one more 
um, at the end um, and to secure it what you're gonna do is get a little black rubber band like this one fold the end of the hair um, towards where you where the beads are so as you can see they're not very secure right now so you're gonna fold it towards where the beads are and then um, where there's a hoop you kind of just want to tie tie the last bead to the hair you want to do it as much as you want just so it's secure guys how cute is my lip gloss oh that's how it is oh sorry yeah that's how it looks how cute is my lip gloss it's nyx i'll leave that in the description box as well so yeah this is the result i was really really happy with how it came out um it looks cute as yeah i kind of grew to like it eventually but i wasn't really a fan of the style i did so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe and comment and like bye